My name is Dr. Salah. I am the host of this Dental Mastermind series in which we will be interviewing different doctors uh, on their expertise and experience within the field of dentistry. In this series, we will cover the most frequently asked questions by our uh, patients and also from some of our dental colleagues. So um, if you have not uh, subscribed yet or if you are new here, please do subscribe, like and share this video for us to prosper and get more videos for you soon. Dr. Shirley with us in uh, the master's, um, uh, dental master's program. And uh, Dr. Shirley is a pediatric dentist and she has been in um, practice for well over uh, seven years. And uh, we have, from our audience, we have few questions for her. And the most disturbing, the most uh, asked or the most frequently asked question is, why do children need fluoride treatment? Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shirley and I'm here to crack one of the most commonly asked questions which is like uh, why children need fluorides. So fluoride treatment is something that is often um, you know misinterrupted by the general dentist and the public because they have very less knowledge on what is fluoride. So fluoride is basically a mineral that helps to protect the teeth and especially the milk teeth because you know as a child, as a kid, they are not equipped to clean or maintain oral hygiene properly unless and otherwise supervised by an adult. So whatever the parent does, still they leave a gap where the teeth needs an even more protection. So fluoride basically what it does is it protects the outer protective layer of the tooth. So the tooth has an outer layer which is called the enamel and this enamel is being protected or it is being enforced to you know withstand whatever attacks that it gets from the bacteria or the germs so this fluoride is basically is to protect this outer protective layer of the tooth why children especially need is if we provide fluoride at a very young age it goes a long way if they have a healthy milk tooth or a baby tooth they have a healthy mouth, they have a healthy oral cavity, thereby it le leads to a foundation where they get a healthy set of adult tooth. So basically, who would not like having, you know, a healthy, beautiful smile with no pain and beautifully arranged teeth and everything like that. So all of this starts with protecting what is already there. So fluoride very is true, one very true, doctor. Very, very true. Uh, Understand. But um, there is, but there is also there, yes, there is also another concern about fluoride as being it's being uh, harmful for uh, us in uh, many ways. Can you uh, please share that information? Sure. That's... Uh, yeah, I'll let you know what uh, are the harmful effects. Yes, very true. Fluorides when they are taken in high amounts is detrimental to health has adverse effects very true but then when it is properly supervised under a dental professional who is giving it to the patient it is highly under a very controlled environment where uh, and also we don't uh, advise fluoride application for children who are less than three years old because they don't have that control they might swallow it so what we use professionally in the in the dental setup is a little higher concentration of fluorides so when we administer to very small kids, they may not have the control and they may swallow it. So for that category, we have a separate, you know, altogether a separate uh, way in which we provide fluorides. Other than that, fluoride, yeah. when it is applied onto the tooth, has very minimal or actually no adverse effects, only benefits. So you don't have to be worried at all about having fluoride application on your tooth. Okay, but then um, there we get fluoride from other sources, like say food uh, yes. and uh, toothpaste. So yes. what do, what do you have to say about that? Like, so do we do you do you uh, uh, for e do you have a specific uh, pattern for each different children? Like each children, like you know, or you do a little bit of uh, you know ask them a little bit of history before you proceed. How is yes. it? How do yes, you? Um, basically, what we do is we first assess whether they definitely need 
uh, a series of you know fluoride application routine how we assess it is um, basically how their the pattern of diet whether they consume tap water the what water they are consuming what beverages they take and what kind of food they actually are uh, taking and what the uh, type of ethnicity they come from so all of this has you know um, re- really has a very important role in deciding whether we give fluoride in one shot or in a series of shot and also if the patient is a high risk patient say say for example if uh, the patient's parents also have you know multiple teeth which needs fillings and the patient also the, the kid also has a multiple you know decayed tooth all of this suggest that they are a high risk population so they will need a special category which we call as topical fluoride application another type is systemic fluoride application um now what we consume in the form of beverages water food also has fluorides and if it is not sufficient it has to be you know supplemented in the form of topical application in a very high risk population we give even systemic fluoride tablets which is kind of rare because we try to you know minimize the risks even at the beginning and that's why it is very important to administer fluoride at a very young age and so, how often does the um, one require this fluoride treatment how how it what, once it's... with the first uh, eruption of tooth or the first appointment we actually keep it at you know um the first and uh, the day on which we apply the fluoride application will be the first visit following that every 3 months like the third month the sixth month and the 12th month this will be done for the first year and mm-hmm. follow up visits every year we'll have to check how it is being you know affected on the tooth and if required we'll have to keep applying fluoride because it's just right. you know a, a layer that we apply on top of the tooth this fluoride mm-hmm. gets into the tooth and you know fills the gaps so okay. if if this it is lost we'll have to replace it mm-hmm. very good doctor so um like uh, up to what age do you recommend is there any cut off age uh, earlier you said that um, any children above the age of 3 is uh, what you would recommend and is there yes. any end age like when you say this is enough okay so this is one of the most you know overlooked part of the discussion this is because we think that only kids or the milk teeth or the baby teeth needs fluorides actually there's no limit on which we can apply fluorides as early as even the first tooth erupting even 6 months we can give but as i told you it cannot be given in a normal dental setup they need specified you know uh, like conscious sedation or under a general anesthesia we can give a fluoride varnish that is what we give for very young children who do not have control over, over what they do mm-hmm. and uh, till 3 years or till 6 years we can still give varnishes only and above 6 years when they have the control we give in the form of gels we have a specialized tray in which the fluoride gel is placed and we ask them to bite it for a few couple of minutes like 4 minutes or 5 minutes and then it is removed and we ask them not to eat or rinse or drink for the next 30 minutes now this doesn't end with 6 years this can be done even for adults that is one of the like nobody even knows about it we can give there is no limit on when you can, you should stop giving fluorides because fluoride is very important very beneficial to the teeth there is always gaps or always empty spaces on the tooth surfaces if you see it under microscopically this uh, fluoride has an extra electron so this can easily go fit into the gaps of the teeth gaps of uh, the i mean the structure of the teeth and these particular gaps are where the bacteria goes and hits and you know causes the cavities so when these are filled with fluorides they increase the resistance of the teeth to cavity so this can be even administered to adults so there's no limit on you know when you should stop administering uh, fluorides there's one um, condition where for contraindication where you shouldn't be giving fluorides that is when the patient themselves have a high uh, fluoride uh, you know in their diet or even it shows in their teeth where uh, we dentists will be able to easily identify if the teeth has a high level of fluoride we call it fluorosis and that's the only uh, contraindication where we don't administer fluorides other than that you can give to 
Any is age. there uh, any ha- uh, harmful effects of fluoride on the teeth? In you short, talked about no. the protection. <laughs> In short, right. no. So, very good, very good, doctor. So uh, that was very knowledgeable and very um, very uh, nice of your doctor to share so much of information. I think we should, there's a lot to discuss and this topic can go on uh, in many directions. It's a very vast so, topic. Yes. So um, let's continue another day with uh, no, something no. new. And um, the next uh, topic uh, that uh, has come to my uh, asking is, um, why do we have to treat uh, children? So maybe if, they, if their teeth are uh, going to fall off, why do we okay. have to actually t- uh, treat them? So. Okay. Maybe in the next meeting question. we will we will have a discussion on this one. Sure, doctor. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining us. Uh, yes, have thank a you. Nice day. Bye. You too, doctor. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so that is uh, we have. Uh,